Hey there, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to look at the following WWE news and rumors, Bobby Lashley's WWE Super Show opponents leaked, WWE has started a movement to sign big new wrestlers amid mass releases, Roman Reigns reaches massive WWE milestone and more. Be sure to stick around till the end for all the exclusive WWE news and rumors, but before we get into it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for daily wrestling content. Universal Champion Roman Reigns has reached a massive WWE milestone. It was last year at WWE Payback 2020 where he defeated The Fiend Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman to win the Universal title. Roman Reigns has now completed 300 days as the Universal Champion in his current reign. This is the second longest Universal Championship reign in WWE history after Brock Lesnar's record 503-day reign from 2017 to 2018. Roman Reigns is also in second place on the list of combined days as the Universal Champion at 364 days across two title reigns. Brock Lesnar tops this list as well with a combined 686 days as the Universal Champion across three reigns. Roman Reigns' current run as the Universal Champion with the Tribal Chief gimmick has been absolutely incredible. For years, fans wanted WWE to turn him heel and the promotion finally did last year. Many even consider this to be the best title reign in the history of the Universal Championship. Over the last 300 days, Roman Reigns has defended his title on several occasions. The head of the table has defeated major names like Kevin Owens, Edge, Daniel Bryan, Cesaro, and many others. It is entirely possible that Roman Reigns will hold on to the Universal Championship for many more days, possibly breaking Brock Lesnar's record. Universal Champion Roman Reigns' next major title defense is set to take place at Money in the Bank next month against WWE Hall of Famer Edge. The Rated R Superstar made his surprise return to SmackDown last week, attacking the Tribal Chief. Edge won the men's Royal Rumble match earlier this year, and went on to challenge Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 37, however. Daniel Bryan was also added to the match, making it a triple threat for the Universal Championship. At WrestleMania 37, Roman Reigns defeated both Edge and Bryan in the main event to retain his title. Comment down and let us know your thoughts on Roman Reigns' current Universal Championship run. Who do you think will finally dethrone him? Drew McIntyre and Kofi Kingston will face Bobby Lashley and MVP in the main event of two WWE Super Shows in August. WWE is set to return to live event touring with a 25-city summer schedule beginning with the July 16th episode of SmackDown in Houston, Texas. Several live events will feature superstars from both Raw and SmackDown, including the WWE Super Shows in Florida on August 7th and August 8th, the Hertz Arena in Fort Myers, August 7th, and the Stephen O'Connell Center in Gainesville, August 8th, posted details about the shows on their websites. McIntyre and Kingston vs. Lashley and MVP is listed as the main event and the only confirmed match so far. Raw stars Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley are also due to appear on both WWE Super Shows, Roman Reigns, Jimmy and Jay, Bianca Belair, Dominic Mysterio and Rey Mysterio are being advertised from the SmackDown brand. Bobby Lashley defeated Drew McIntyre in the opening match on the first night of WrestleMania 37 to retain his WWE Championship. One month later, the Almighty kept hold of his title again by defeating McIntyre and former WWE superstar Braun Strowman at WrestleMania Backlash, at last week's Hell in a Cell event. Lashley recorded a victory over McIntyre for the third consecutive pay-per-view. As per the match stipulation, McIntyre is no longer allowed to challenge for the WWE Championship while Lashley holds the title, McIntyre's tag team partner at the WWE Super Show events. Kofi Kingston re-entered the WWE Championship picture on the latest episode of Raw, the New Day member will face Bobby Lashley for the title at WWE's next pay-per-view, Money in the Bank, on July 18. John Cena believes WWE will continue to thrive regardless of whether he makes appearances for the company or not. After being presented as WWE's top star attraction for over a decade, Cena reduced his in-ring schedule in 2016 to focus on his movie career. Not too long ago, the 16-time world champion confirmed he is set to make his WWE return after more than a year away from the company. Speaking in a recent interview with Complex News, Cena admitted WWE does not need him to make his upcoming return. 
I relate a lot of things to WWE, and this one falls directly in that line, Cena said. What was it like to join the WWE locker room? WWE is already a global phenomenon, with or without John Cena, and that's proven before I got there and certainly now that I'm not there anymore and they're still thriving. They don't need me, but it's such an honor and a privilege to walk in that locker room and be able to go out and perform. Cena, who stars in the new F9 movie, added that he views the Fast and Furious franchise in a similar way to WWE. He said WWE and Fast and Furious can survive without him, but he is happy to receive opportunities from both organizations to showcase his skills. The exact date of John Cena's WWE return has not yet been announced. However, it is safe to assume that his in-ring comeback will take place in front of fans. WWE's 25-city summer tour will begin with the July 16th episode of WWE SmackDown, two upcoming pay-per-views, Money in the Bank, July 18th, and SummerSlam, August 21st, are also due to be held with fans in attendance. It has been heavily rumored that John Cena could face Universal Champion Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. The two men previously met at No Mercy 2017, with Reigns picking up the victory. The wrestling world was unfortunately hit by another day of WWE releases as 14 superstars lost their jobs. 205 Live was affected the most by WWE's most recent mass release drive as many longtime faces from the cruiserweight brand were shown the door. While WWE continues to clear out the roster, the company is also reportedly looking to sign new talent. Dave Meltzer reported on the Wrestling Observer Radio that there is currently a movement in the WWE to hire younger and bigger wrestlers. WWE targeted its older talent during the latest round of releases, and the company is looking for wrestlers under the age of 26 who are tall and weigh over 220 pounds. Meltzer highlighted a known trend in wrestling, which is the reliance on physically imposing stars. Vince McMahon has always had a fixation with pushing big wrestlers, and it seems like the company is pivoting back to an old formula. Here's what Meltzer had to say during the Wrestling Observer Radio, yeah, I haven't finished my story on it, but the one thing I noticed, and there are a couple of exceptions, is that I mean, they gutted the 205 live guys that had been around for a long time. The guys that they got rid of were the guys they weren't going to, you know, they weren't going to do anything with the guys, and they were mostly older guys. I know that there is a movement to bring in younger and bigger guys, you know, that's like the big thing right now there, 26 and under, over 220 pounds, that type of mentality again. Whenever business is bad, or whatever you want to call it, Let's say popularity is so-so at this point. You can't say business is bad. I mean, in traditional metrics, it's not great. But whenever that happens, Vince is always going to go back to his intuition, which is always, we need bigger guys. WWE ditched its old recruitment practices in recent times when it signed non-heavyweight and high-flying wrestlers. The company was once even criticized for hoarding underutilized wrestlers. But the priorities have clearly changed ever since the COVID-19 pandemic forced an alteration in the business's financial model. While more releases could be on their way, fans should also keep an eye out for a few exciting signings. Hey there, you are still here, before you go, be sure to check out our second YouTube channel, which mainly focuses on all the latest and exclusive AEW news, rumors, theories and more, the link is in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, until then, see you in the next video.